you feel like you're going to get to a spot, maybe not next year or, or you don't have to put a cap on it, but do you feel like you will get to a spot where you'll be capable of taking, taking stepping away from the basket, taking jump shots in, in games? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm capable of doing it. Just a... It'll suck, you know. <laughs> It'll be a terrible shot. So. But I am capable of doing it. But it's just getting to that point where it's like it's going to help the team, not kind of screw us up, you know. So, yeah, eventually, you know. So we'll wait and see. See what the coaches say. Even Nick was in here before you talking about how, in terms of your growth, sometimes you get a little too mental, like a little bit too much in your head. Where do you feel like those barriers come for you in the game? Uh, barriers. Uh, so, is it just holding, like, what's kind of like holding me back a bit from whatever, doing yeah, the you job? Said that sometimes you're, you, it's a little bit too mental for you, and that's why you're, you know, where you can overcome your frustrations in the game. Yeah, it is. It definitely is mental. I, I mean, because I process uh, everything and try and figure out what I could have done better. But it, I guess the timing of it's a bit weird. And then also, I get really upset with myself. Um, with different mistakes that I do. Um, the main ones are just on like pick and roll coverages and all that stuff that I like, you know, really want to get done. Um, but yeah, that's the main thing is just ability to just like process it and then like move on with it. That's like the that's like the best ability to have. It's just like, yeah, you made a mistake. What well, could you have done better? Positioning, whatever. Then move on. Next time, try and try and fix it. You know. Mm. Coach Donovan's in here. He talked about seasons of first for a lot of people, including you, and how you had to adjust to a new role. Uh, what were some of the things that you had to adjust to this year in your season of first, as he called it? Uh, Would you learn? What I learned? Um, I guess the main thing is just uh, I don't learn. But de defensively, it was just it was a lot more. It was, a, it was a lot different just because uh, one we, I was used to having Serge, <laughs> so he he cleans up a lot of the stuff. Um, so the main thing was for me what I learned is just like I have to be more, I guess, uh, aggressive and stop them earlier. Um, just because, yeah, I mean I don't really like challenging at the rim. I'm more like more so just like to stop them outside before they get any sort of jump, and then just kind of work from there. So that's the biggest one I learned. Uh, was just to do those sort of rotations faster, more aggressive, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, offensively, it was just like the rolls, just different reads. I had to, I had to make um, be sure when I rolled now, because um, they were selling out on the paint. It was just to make sure that you know different reads are there, corner guy passing, whatever. It's just those sort of things, you know. Defensively, uh, a lot, a lot of teams are running pick and rolls. Yeah. Uh, how much? Big of an adjustment is that for you to have to be able to guard that now more than ever. Uh, the pick and roll. Uh, it wasn't wasn't that much of an adjustment. It was just the uh, um, what made it difficult was like they weren't doing just the traditional like drag where you could see it coming from a mile away. They do like a bunch of false action. Dallas is really good at it. Do a bunch of false action to get you off the man, and then they sprint up um, the bigs to get that separation because um, our pick and roll coverage was to blitz. So the big has to be up there with the uh, with the guard, obviously. So any sort of separation will put you at a tough position. And then, yeah, that's what that's what the main <laughs> kind of adjustment was, I guess, defensively. That's what the tough thing was. Not getting too basketball-y, sorry. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Do you enjoy just switching? Sometimes when you guys do employ that strategy, is that... No, it depends that who is it against, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, yeah. Well, let's see. Um, but I don't mind. It, it, it depends. Like, um, we've been serious. I don't mind the switches if it's uh, if it's a certain play that kind of jeopardizes our guards in terms of that. Like, if don't don't just want to switch randomly if the big's just going to go down and seal. If the big's on their team don't really go and seal, they usually want to like just get out of the way and rebound. Then switching's fine. But other than that, yeah, I don't mind it to be honest. Seems like that's the direction the league is heading. The less and less guys that are going to go down and post up and seal. Do you see that maybe being less of a problem moving forward? Maybe guys it, posting up. No, I think I, th I think it's going to go through. The you know, teams are going to realize that there's still um, advantages there, from it, especially if you just if it's a guard on big, um, big to big post ups are 
rather rare, as you were saying. Um, but obviously, Boogie and Scard, they'll have terms of switches or whatever. They'll definitely try and get an advantage there. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Tough series for NSJ. <laughs> and just going forward um, uh, with some of his strengths and weaknesses, what do you guys need from him uh, to make sure that you can maximize what he brings to you guys? I mean, the way he handled it was was perfect. He was fine with everything. Um, every time we had practice and whatnot, he was still locked into all the plays and all their scouting and stuff. So he handled it how anyone else would handle it. Um, and what was the second part? You said the... Going forward, how do you maximize what he, he's able to bring to you guys? Um, maximize, it's just like... It's mainly just kind of... Um, because it's not all just on him to maximize him, right? It's it's more so just like helping him out in an area um, to where he could still be on the floor. Um, so whatever that is, you know what I mean? Um, obviously he's an amazing scorer, amazing scorer. So that's his huge, that's his best benefit. And, he, and he's like solid on defense. Like he did, like this past series he did like amazing job, I thought. Um, getting to the spots that he needed to get to, verticality, whatever. Um, for the time that he had, so he did really good that. Um, but yeah, again, I think it's just like as a team, we just got to kind of help him out more in terms of, um, I guess, like just like his coverages and whatnot, just help him out more there. Guards got to just be more aggressive with him, um, helping him over screens and whatnot, and then that'll keep him on the floor longer. See him do better. Uh, I, would, I mean, I have huge expectations for him, honestly. So, like, I want to see him doing a whole bunch of stuff, but like, uh, physically, it's it's uh, it's like it's not. He's capable of doing it, but like, it's not like a thing. So, like, lateral speed is not as uh, is not as good as say like um, say I'm I'm like quite good at lateral speed, right? So, like, that's that's one of the areas, but it's like. It's like it's a physical thing. Like you can't really just say like, "Oh, you have to be faster." It's more just one of those things that like you kind of either got it or you don't, you know. So, um, but then again, you, it's it's the adjustments that you make from that with what you have, um, and the type of angles that you take that could really kind of give you not not put you at a disadvantage, you know. So, whatever that is for him, he's gonna figure it out. Miss, you didn't miss any games this, this year, but you had a hand that was wrapped pretty heavily at times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. What's this one? Yeah. And, and now that the season is over, can you reveal how much or how little that affected you, what, whatever happened to your hand? Oh, it's just, I mean, it didn't affect me in, uh, what, like, what do you mean, like, affect me in, like, playing and stuff? catching or shooting or anything like that? No. You didn't have any? No, nah, no, I mean, shooting. So. No, nah. um, it, was, it was, the only effect that it had was just mainly on, uh, because I, there's so many times I'm when, just playing defense, um, putting hands on dudes' hips or whatever, when they turn, it kind of just turns the thumb, so that's, yeah, it's kind of like re-spraining like an ankle, you know, it was just like, kept, being. I mean, it eventually got healthy, um, yeah, and then just like, just one of those things, it just happens, just in, when you're inside, especially Trying to be physical, yeah. Got to touch up some dude, yeah. So yeah. Thanks, dude. Is that golden? Yeah. Sorry. Golden horses. Thank you. Golden horses. Here's your guy's little fingers. Good to see you again, by the way, mate.